Okay, here I am back. Oh, yeah, sitting back down again. That feels good. This is um like my, this is like part two because like I told you, my um my son and my daughter-in-law and Aria, my granddaughter, came, but now they have left again because because they had they're going Christmas shopping and um, yeah. That's what they're doing. They left Aria next door at my daughter's house. So now, okay, so now here we are, and I'm going to continue. This is still wet. See, this is the ball that I made. If you didn't see me make the ball, then you have to go back to, um, back to scene one, take one, part one of the Sir. Okay, I didn't think of a name to call it. Part one of the, let's see, it's, um, oh, it's part, man, oh man, oh man. It's going to be the part one of the, um, this, making this round thing. It's round mixed media art. Yeah, art. Round mixed media art. Yeah, close enough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this napkin that I love the blues and the greens on here. And because the napkin is blue and green, that gives me, I'm cutting, I'm tearing it in. What's that ceiling fan on up there? And it seems to want to just smoosh my oh I got turn this down and in the ceiling fan wants to send see every once in a while I look over there at the computer screen which is over here that way and um then I can see if I'm off kilter or off the wagon or whatever okay so I am I'm tearing these down into smaller pieces. The fan is blowing hair into my mouth. And then I'm going to hopefully, that's still wet enough that this is just still going to stick right on there. Oh, <gasps> it is. I didn't think it would dry that quickly. But, um, but it is still fitting on there perfectly perfectly nice sticking to that um, wet paper towel that I put there. Ooh, this is going to be pretty. This is a perfect napkin. Now, if you use, you can use tissue paper. If you have, if you don't have a napkin that you want to use, you can use tissue paper or whatever. Or, even so, you can make, you can use, if you, you could actually paint the whole thing white with gesso. There's like a lot of different options you can do with this. You could paint the whole thing white with gesso, and then you could go over it with watercolors or by sitting in the bowl, it's kind of trying to pull my stuff apart. So, and then after I get all this napkin on here, don't fly away, napkin. Thank you. And, um, they say thank you to my napkins. You see, you tell your, your art supplies thank you if they behave like they're supposed to. All right, now. This is looking okay. Some of the parts I'm going to have to add a little bit more glue. Because if it's not, oh, this piece might be a little big. But no, maybe not, though. But you know, actually, though, ladies and gentlemen, girls and boys, um, actually, if, if it's kind of lumpy, lumpiness gives it even that much more 
lumpiness gives it more um, character, more texture, and more prettiness. That's what I'm thinking. And you know what? I don't know what I want to do after I put this napkin on. I do know some things I'm going to do in the future, but I gotta wait. I gotta wait till it dries. But um, but I'll show you. I'll show you something. Don't know what I'm gonna show you, but I'm gonna show you something. I I do know I love this napkin. You know what? I think I got enough glue on there, so I'm just gonna spray this a little bit with water. And it'll still stick rather than add more glue. It'll it'll stick. Look at how that is looking. Look at how it is looking. I like it. I like it. I love it. I want some more of it. Now, oh, we got to get some little bit more on the bottom. Let me wet it a little bit. Just rehydrate that glue. And I got enough glue on there. I don't have to add any more. And this is where you don't have to have any fancy glue. All you need is just Elmer's inexpensive school glue. When you get it over there to the Walmart, it's cheap. Now, some things you want might want um, high dollar glue with, but not this. Okay. Now, this is going to take a while to dry. So, I, I'm going to have to have a part three on this as well but let me show you let me just show you see how pretty that is already this is pretty now I'm going to this is going to end up having like a lot of butamous things like let me show you right here one thing um oh just a minute. Me rich over here. Oops, stay there, Cam. Oh, geez. I'm driving my driving my beautiful people crazy. Now here I have made a jingle jangle right here. And it's blue mainly. It's blue mainly. And now when it hangs underneath this, it is beautiful. And you know what? It's got like silver. What I'm going to do is see it's got silver charms on it. So I believe what I'm going to do, see that hangs on that loop that I made at the bottom. Now when this is all dry, which that'll take you know, at least overnight for it to dry. But when it is all dry, it, it will be hard. It's just that wadded up newspaper and then covered with masking tape and covered with um, paper toweling that's been dipped in half water and half Elmer's glue and and then put that napkin on the top. Because the, not, the napkin is blues and greens, I'm going to use blues and greens. And there's a little purple on there. I'm going to use that to decorate the whole thing. There may, I may, may end up even hanging something else. I got this beautiful piece of like almost like a chandelier oh you know what I think and I might do is to have oh I know what I'm gonna do 
I'm going to I'm going to go around Th this whole thing is going to be covered up with bling and such as that bling and things bling and things is going to be on this I can't do it till it dries and so but then I believe I'm going to put a band of something around the outside of this the round the circumference of this and then, like, look at this. I just got this in some Happy Mail, just this one piece, which is so beautiful. But um, Lisa was her name. But could you imagine how pretty this would be if I had something like this, like different pieces, like different pieces. And... um. If I have something like that and it hung all the way around the circumference of it, if uh, I like, like if I had eight, eight pieces, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, like if I had eight things hanging all the way around, kind of evenly, I think that would be so pretty. Well, this is going to have to hang. Now, this one here is one, this one here is one that I, well, I accidentally got some red paint on her. But this one, I done a smaller one, and I didn't put a thing on the bottom. But I could still put something at the bottom that I could hang, so I could hang more. And, um, but this one, I didn't do that. I just put the loop at the top. But this one's been hanging here already a couple days, and it's it's like hard as a rock. So, and this one, all I have on this one, all I have on this one is just the um, is just the paper toweling is on that one. But it's it's nice. I mean, you can even make you know Christmas is coming. You could make Christmas decorations out of this. You know, some people do make something like this by using the styrofoam balls. But I think, you know, those are perfectly round and all kind of perfect and stuff. And um, I'm not into all that perfect stuff. And I'm into recycling and reusing and upcycling. And so this is in this one. I had a piece of tissue. And I just wadded it up, and then I put the tape and then the um, glue mixture and the paper towel. And um, and it's, like I say, been hanging there for a while. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do on this one, but I think this one, too, It's gonna I'm going to make it into something real pretty to hang. Right now in my dining room from the chandelier, I have a just a string with a butterfly that my grandson made in preschool. It's been hanging there for a long time. and But I might take one of these after it's all glitzed up and hang it from the middle of the chandelier. I think that would be pretty. Yeah. Oh, I got a lot. As I look around, I got a lot of places I could hang stuff. I dropped it in a floor. Just a minute. Got to pick it up. All right. So anyhow... That gives you some ideas of something. If you don't have anything to do and you're thinking, oh, what can I do? I don't know what I can do. I have no idea what I can do. Then, ouch, ew, I just rolled over my toes. But I think you'd be able to find something. I mean, and you don't need much. Pep, napkin, whatever. Let me see. I was thinking about singing a song. I was thinking, I'm thinking about singing a song. You can hang up now. You can hang up the phone. Let me see if I can find. I have like all these words in here. Oh. This is one of my favorites right here. These ones I have the, um, I have the, um, Whoopsie daisies. This one I have the chords on it for when I'm playing my auto harp. Which, my auto harp. I cannot believe our air conditioner. We got a window air conditioner in a bedroom. 
and doggone it if it didn't like the the like the uh, window air conditioner has like a drainage outside that so it drains outside well there's a cedar tree that's right over that air conditioner where it sticks out the window and it clogged the cedar tree thingies clogged up the clogged up the hole in the um where it d drains and so it was draining inside the house well i didn't notice it till the carpet like way around was wet and I then I said oh my goodness and my and then my auto harp was leaning on the wall under it and so I quick moved the auto harp and I moved it to another place in the bedroom and um, but I didn't realize at the moment that it was full of water so I went to go tune my auto harp the other day so I could pluck on it a little bit and doggone it if it was full of water. I couldn't believe it. So after I got done crying, I dumped the water out. And then I've left it to dry a couple days. Now I'm going to, maybe tonight I'll try to tune it and see if there's any hope for life still in it after the water bath it had. But this is a song called The Rose. And I love this when Bette Midler sings it. She's like my favorite to sing it. Many people have thought, sung this one, but I like Bette Midler. Okay, sing along with me as you are there. If I, if I get off key, just turn off your thing. Okay. <clears throat> la 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 la. Some say love it is a river that drowns the tender reed. Some say love, it is a razor that leaves your soul to bleed. Some say love, it is a hunger, an endless aching need. I say love, it, it is a flower, and you, it's only seed, it's the heart. Afraid of breaking That never Learns to dance It's the dream Afraid of waking That never Takes a chance It's the one who won't be taken, who can not seem to live, and the soul afraid of dying that never learns to live when the night has been too lonely. And the road has been too long. And you think that love is only for the lucky and the strong. Just remember in the winter far beneath. The bitter snow lies the seed that with the sun's love in the spring becomes a rose. I love you all and God bless each and every one of you and I'll see you on the next video.